guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Divine Feminine, how's it going? So this is going to be a yin reading for um, April the 1st until the 7th. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing well. Interesting, and the Queen of Pentacles just popped out. So um, the Queen of Pentacles showed up a couple of times in the Twin Flame reading. Um, yeah, so you'll have to watch that to get further understanding. But basically, I think there was a desire of the masculine to manifest the, the Queen of Pentacles in his life in the 3D. Okay, just a uh, card just fell out. Just one minute. Actually, let me just pause it. Okay, another court card. So this is the Queen of, uh, sorry, the um, the Page of Wands. So that's all about um, beginning a new adventure, um, something that is more spiritually aligned. Uh, great communication, great news. All right, let me pull the cards before they start jumping again. All right, so that's, I'm using different decks here. Uh, so this is the Tarot Luminati. So I did this for the Divine Masculine reading, so I'll do the same. Okay, and for the middle part, I'll use this Witch's Tarot by Dugan, I think. Oops. And for the last row, this is Ellershaw, good tarot. And one from the bottom of the deck. All right, so let me give my little deck here a shuffle. So if I didn't mention it already, this is a reading for April 1st to the 7th. I think the card jumped out, so I couldn't say that. All right, let's begin. So how do you view the relationship with the masculine? Wow, the tower. You're bringing, in the, bringing this into uh, the union for the twin flame reading. So you see this as um, breaking down illusion, sudden destruction, um, illumination through destruction. So you feel that your vision of the connection is crumbling, perhaps. So I'm just going to pull one clarifier. Five of Wands, wow. So this is overcoming obstacles and challenges challenges, feeling that you have competition, somebody's disagreeing with you. So when you look at this union, wow, that's, um, you know, that's not so fun energy that I'm seeing here. So hopefully the extended reading will give a little bit more clear, clarity. I'm going to pull um, additional cards, a past, this would be considered a present and then a future card. So yeah, it's maybe you're feeling there's just too many challenges to overcome and so you're kind of giving it a thumbs down for the moment so we'll see what the rest of the reading says okay what are you resisting the world card so this is completion of a major cycle you got two major arcana so far very powerful energy so this is the end of the fool's journey um, so this is completing a cycle from 20 years up to lifetime it's just a massive um, you know cycle and so this usually is an acknowledgement from the universe for all of the hard work that you've done. Um, and, you know, it's the final piece of the puzzle being placed. So it's in your resisting position. So I'm going to pull a clarifier here. Hi, Priestess. So you're resisting using your intuition or you're not listening to your intuition. You're not completing a cycle. You're not, um, you're not seeing something. You know, I'm, I'm getting a very strong message of illusions. 
holding on to illusions. So a message from your higher self. Wow, the Four of Wands. So the masculine got this card twice, once in the uh, Yang reading and once in the Twin Flame reading. So in the Twin Flame reading, it was in the near future for the... Um, for the Yang reading, I believe it was in the future position as well. Or no, it was coming in from the past. So here we have your higher self um, telling you to make a commitment to the masculine to celebrate the love that you two share. You know, this is confirmation of a twin flame, 11-11, four wands. Um, but it's, you know, um, engagement, marriage, buying a home together and celebrating. So, you know, it could represent having friends and family around. But, you're, you know, this message from the higher self. So one card, what the heck. I didn't want to do that for every position. So the full card. This is taking a leap of faith. This is trusting. Um, you know, starting a new beginning. Having no attachments, no expectations. So... Hmm. So your higher self is maybe asking you to switch your perspective. If you look at these two cards here, we got a man and a woman jumping out of a tower because they have no choice. Their foundation is crumbling to the ground. And over here we have a couple rejoicing in love. And look at how beautiful their, their tower is strong. The foundation is strong. You know, very opposite energy. So it's almost like your higher self is telling you to switch perspectives. Don't see things as a challenge. Trust in your intuition and place that final piece of the puzzle, whatever that means for you. But just also to, you know, relinquish any expectations or attachments. Just take a leap of faith and trust and know that everything's going to work out. Okay, so the past position, we have the Five of Wands again, same card. So there were, you know, now we have a castle with all these dragons that are attacking this knight. All right, so in the past, you felt that there was a lot of challenges, a lot of chaos. Wow, you know, it's a lot of, um, a lot of change for sure. So... That's coming in from the past, and you're still holding that energy in, in terms of, of how you view the relationship. So, you know, you've, you know, I'm seeing that you need to tap into your power, your strength, um, find your confidence again, and switch perspective. Present position, wow, death card, transformation. So, you know, for me, this is a positive card. It's a rebirth, death of the ego, death of the old identity. So in your present position, you feel that your old life is coming down. Your old identity is coming down. You're creating a new identity. So I see a transition from the tower to possibly the four of wands. And it all depends on your perspective, I guess. So, yeah, major energies here. So, so far we've got three major arcanas and the Four of Wands, I treat that as a major arcana as well. The future position, nice, the Eight of Wands. So this could represent communication. It's everything lining up. Um, it's accelerated motion. It's excitement, enthusiasm. So it's also, you know, um, Cupid's arrows as well. Love coming towards you. So this vibration of chaos and death and destruction is... <laughs> is turning into something more positive and uplifting in the future. You know, this is seeing the finish line and then stepping on the gas pedal. So, you know, just accept whatever this transformation is because it's going to work out. Just, you know, just like I was saying before, use your intuition. Um, message from the universe, Five of Swords. So the masculine actually got this card uh, a couple of times in his reading, and this is how you viewed the relationship. Five of Swords is conflict, defeat, it's winning at all costs. So 
So the universe is telling you to put down the swords, stop fighting in meaningless battles, stop engaging in conflict. You know, if there's too much at, at stake, then, you know, if the winning causes too much destruction, then you need to walk away, right? And you can see in the background here, there's somebody who's knelt over and, you know, they just feel defeated. But at the same time, the sun is rising in the back, right? And dawn of a new day. Your external environment is the Page of Pentacles. So this is a brand new beginning. The Page is beginning a new venture, a new job, going back to school. So this is commitment to a long-term goal. So this is coming in your external. The masculine got the Ten of Pentacles twice in the future. So there might be a connection there. Also, the Queen of Pentacles kept on showing up. Um, the sense of home manifested into the 3D is a possibility there. Uh, so this could also be communication in the three, three D. But what I see here is a decision made and a commitment to that decision. And what do you fear? Wow, the Ace of Cups. So, the Ace of Cups is again a new beginning of love, and this card comes with conditions that you must heal your heart, forgive yourself, forgive others, and be truly open to receiving love into your life. But you fear that. You fear giving of yourself. Your higher self is telling you to open up, but you feel that things are, are um, being destroyed, and they're being destroyed so that real truth, real love can come in. You know, the falseness is being destroyed so that truth True love can enter your life. Okay, and what is the overall energy? Is this Eight of Cups? So, yeah, I mean, you can see that you're letting go and walking away, you know, leaving this emotional turmoil behind you. Sacral chakra was the overall energy for the twin flame reading. So there's definitely an, you know, and this card kept on showing up a couple times as well. So um, that emotional loss is definitely a theme. You know, and opening up that blockage will help you move forward. And that means expressing your emotions, connecting with people, um, mending broken bonds, but also leaving the past behind you. Um, you see here there's eight cups that this person is leaving behind. They hold no value for them anymore. So here we got this movement towards a new beginning, a spiritual quest, leaving the past behind as an overall energy. And you can definitely see it reflected here. Uh, it all depends on whether or not you see it as a major obstacle you know, or something that can be embraced. It's all about perspective. So there is a completion of a cycle happening. Allow that transformation. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card as a final message from the universe. And then I'll do the extended version. So the extended version um, is available to uh, my patrons. And the link will be in the description box below. They will also eventually be available for purchase on Vimeo as well. Okay. Mermaid with a baby alligator. So this card talks about resiliency as well. Um, this card actually showed up um, in the masculine reading, but it turned up as a reverse card. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it had the exact same meaning of being resilient, bending with the wind. Okay. My buoyant baby, slight and new, rugged leather lined with dew, firm and fit, poised to attack, falling forward, snapping back. A bathing beauty keeps a close watch over her baby, th 
baby, a thick-skinned striped alligator hatchling. The young reptile's sharp teeth and rough exterior are in sharp contrast to his mistress's delicate loveliness. So the, mem um, the message is, remember your resilience. Life can be tough, and lately things have taken their to emotional toll. There we go with that emotional toll again, eh? Yet in spite of everything, you are doing all right. You're not just a victim of your circumstances. You are a survivor. Like the alligator, you have the courage, strength, and hardiness to deal with any challenge and to handle life setbacks with renewed determination. You've been blessed with all the tools necessary to maintain a sense of well-being, be it patience, faith, or even a sense of humor in the face of adversity. You have what it takes to remain resilient, even though the tough times will not be going away anytime soon. Focus on your resilience and you will come out stronger. Yeah, so again, it's pointing to that feeling of overcoming obstacles. Things are, are difficult right now. It's taking its toll on you, but concentrate on the positive aspects of your life and it will change. That energy will start becoming more positive. The finish line is almost there. Okay, so I'm going to stop the reading there, and I will be doing the extended version. All right. Back. So this is the extended version of the yin reading. So let's take a deeper look into um, the relationship position. So I'm going to be pulling a past, present, and future for each position. Let me just give these another shuffle. Okay, so there's definitely a sense of a struggle that you need to overcome, and it's bringing you're bringing this energy in from the past. So, the past first, ten of swords, and the future, the nine of cups. So, the ten of swords was actually a card in the masculine's past position as well, putting an end to something. It's the dark night of the soul, right? And so definite destruction, definite ending of something in the past. And now you're feeling like, you know, there's just too much to overcome, too much water under the bridge. And, but there's that shift, that, that positive shift that's happening in the future. The Nine of Cups is your wish fulfilled, feeling satisfied, you know, um, feeling like your, your dreams have come true. Right, so hang in there. Don't give up, I feel. So that's how you view the relationship. Everything will work out. So your resisting position, one card from the past. Wow, the eleven eleven card and the future eight of cup or eight of uh, swords. So confirmation that there was a twin flame connection in the past. Um, maybe you felt that that cycle had completed or hasn't fully been manifested right this is in your resisting position you are resisting using your intuition to guide you um, you need to release yourself from this resistance from this mental prison and, and we can see that with the eight of swords I feel it's a door opening um, and you conquering your fears um, this feeling of being locked out is coming from you I believe not the masculine Okay, so a message from Higher Self, one for the past, the Ace of Wands, interesting, and the future, Page of Swords. So the Ace of Wands coming in the past position, the masculine got this card twice in his past, so very cool synchronicity. But also, um, the card that you're bringing in from the past for the Twin Flame reading was the Two of Wands. So there was this action and a, a movement. Um, not necessarily movement at this moment, but there's a sense that you're waiting on the precipice. You're waiting to take a leap of faith into this new beginning. You're holding that Ace of Wands in your hand as the fool um, and ready for this commitment. This is what your higher self is telling you. Now, the Page of Swords is coming in the future, so this could be communication, clarity, um, making a decision, um, but also it's it's communication very important communication that's truthful and honest and so you know that could be helping you to release yourself from that eight of swords in the future that 
aha moment um, and a release perhaps but what I'm feeling more strongly is that you're waiting for something so that you can begin this journey to begin a new life so the past position the two of pentacles the grand awakening card and the four of cups so the two of pentacles past position um, again this card points to resilience you know being the, like the tree and bending in the wind so this card represents a new beginning and a transformation of the 3D reality as that seed takes root. So in the past it created chaos. There was and or it could have also created destruction. Um, it caused you to go within, maybe even to um, retreat and avoid. The Grand Awakening card or Judgment card is reviewing your life. It's making a very important decision. So there was a change that caused conflict and a review of your life in order to make a decision. In the future we got the Four of Cups, so this is reclusiveness. This is also disconnect boredom, right? So it's like you don't want to engage and in this conflict any longer and you're kind of cutting yourself off from it with the Ten of Swords. So the present position we got the Death card, Ace of Pentacles, interesting, the Five of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So past position Ace of Pentacles, we got the Two of Pentacles there so again you know kind of pointed to this new star, we got the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands over there um, in the Ten of Swords. So there's this ending, major ending, in a, a new beginning that is creating a transformation. So the Ace of Pentacles is a seed planted. It's a gift from the universe, an opportunity there. Um, so there was, or you were, you are in the process of a transformation. However, you know, something has ended in the past and it's creating mourning you're you're choosing to see this as a a sad thing you're feeling loss you're feeling you know that you had to leave something behind we've got the four of cups um progressing to the five of cups progressing to the seven of cups in the future but we also have the nine of cups in the future as well right you're seeing things as destructive and no hope but you're not seeing the golden pebbles in the stream. I don't know where that metaphor came from, but um, maybe it's probably because of the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is having a lot of choices and not knowing which one to choose. So you have like seven cups and they each have a gift. So, you know, you, you must make that choice. Follow your heart as a message to this card. So there's definitely a sense of a loss that you're healing from. Okay, so the Eight of Wands in the future, very nice. King of Cups, cool synchronicity, King of Swords. Wow, and the King of Fire. Holy crap. That's all three of the um, Mask and Court cards. The, you know, the only one that's m missing here is the King of Pentacles. So, isn't that the first card that fell out of the deck at the beginning? Okay, so the King of Cups, cool synchronicity, this came in from the past position in the extended version of the Yang. So, there is a deep bond, a loving connection, pointing to the 1111 card. Um, you know, feeling this deep loving connection and then you know, you're sending out this vibration, this vibration is coming back to you in the form of two more kings. So again, Cupid's arrows and communication. Now the King of Swords is the ultimate communicator. So we got water, air, and fire, um, just in case you're curious about the signs, the zodiac signs. So the um, King of Swords, again, is the ultimate communicator. He takes action. Um, he cuts away barriers. He speaks his truth, right? And so we got the Page of Swords also coming in the future. So there may be some very important communication come towards you. And then the King of Wands is in the future. So again, this is somebody who 
is very passionate, who is a leader, who um, um, very charismatic. You know, we got the king coming with all these eight of wands, right? So there's a lot of fire, um, a lot of action and manifestation as well. So I, what I feel is um, the masculine reaching out, sending vibrations towards the feminine and being balanced in harmony with him, within himself. The only thing that's missing is the 3D aspect. Okay, so the Five of Swords message from the universe. Transformation of the Death card. The Ego again. And the Page of Pentacles again. So the Death card, past position. So it's the same repeated card that's in your present. So that destruction, that Ten of Swords, that Dark Knight of the Soul came in from the past. You're still in that energy now. But just know it's cutting away this... this falseness and illusion so that a firm foundation can be built on it. Um, the masculine got the ego in the present position um, for the yang reading and it was accompanied with the um, um, the empress card. So I think both aspects are dealing with the ego, putting a death to the ego, cutting away chains, codependent relationships, addiction. Now the universe is telling you to stop trying to win at all costs. Don't get engaged in negative thoughts, negative energy. Allow that transformation to happen. Allow the tower to fall. The page of pentacles is coming in the future and it's also in your external environment. So there's that new beginning, that commitment to a long-term goal that is formulating. And so I'm seeing stability, foundation laid, a groundedness laid, a commitment laid. So this, like I said, the old needs to be washed away and cut away first for this new beginning to take root and to grow. Okay, so the external environment, the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and wow, the Six of Cups. So past position, Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, being through that chaos, those battles, um, feeling knocked down, feeling like you want to give up, but you stuck with it. The Eight of Pentacles is positive movement forward. It's manifestation of your, your hard work into the 3D reality. There's still a little bit more work to do, but you're well on your way to full manifestation. And then the Six of Cups in the future is reunion card. This card showed up at the heart of the matter for the Twin Flame. It was a shared end. <laughs> My cat is totally scratching at the door right now. That's how he um, knocks. I'm wondering if he'll go away. Okay, so, yeah, I'm just going to pause it, let him in. Otherwise, he'll keep bugging us. Sorry, guys, just wait. Okay, so sorry about that. So the Six of Cups was showing up at the heart space, shared union bet between both aspects. So this is reunion, somebody coming back from the past, from the childhood, previous life. So all this energy is coming in from your external. There's a sense that the knight has, or sorry, the page has been planning for something for a very long time, has been working very hard at it, has invested a lot of energy into it. And all of this hard work has been so that the Six of Cups can be manifested, so that reunion can occur. And that's why you're going to be rejoicing. That's why you're going to be happy. The king is coming. So what do you fear? The Ace of Cups. So let me just give this a quick shuffle here. Okay, so the Two of, of Cups, interesting. Three of Swords, yeah. And Four of Swords, good. So the Two of Cups past position, cool synchronicity. The masculine had this coming in from the past. Again, deep commitment, a bond, recognizing your twin flame, um, having your heart chakra activated, which activates higher levels of consciousness. So there is this true love connection in a sense of a new beginning, 
that can happen, but you're scared to death of having your heart broken with the Three of Swords. So this fear is what's holding you back from taking a leap of faith, from committing on a 5D level to your Divine Masculine. Um, not allowing those fears, you know, you're making a mountain out of a molehill is what I'm seeing here. So the way through that is a, is a beautiful progression here from the three to the four swords, which is to heal your heart, right? Remember this card comes with conditions. You must heal your heart, let go of your fears, that pain, those wounds from the past. Very cool. All right, so let me just pull one card, one additional card from Call It Baron Reed, Wisdom of the Oracle. So one final message, universe. What final message do you have? Never-ending story. Yeah, don't you feel like that sometimes? Like, when is this ever going to end? Okay, so self-criticism, the wounded ego, there we go again, the wounded ego, unnecessary drama. Sometimes your heart enters into a contract with another that results in pain, not because of abuse or neglect, but for the other, more complex reasons. Shame, fear of intimacy, and low self-esteem are the greatest challenges to the success of a relationship. Consider how valuable this knowledge is, however. Right now, you have an opportunity for important healing, but you must reflect on the stories you weave about love, connection, abandonment, rejection, and loneliness. Not only do you need to begin a new story, you need to forgive yourself for telling yourself the old ones. Have compassion for the part of you that believes all those narratives. None of them were ever true anyway yeah so let go of the past move on okay so I do hope this helps I'm sending you massive love cheers